eyes out of the so-called black man. That's it. So let them go. Harrell Nunn said, which please you hate yourself. You came on the channel, so the truth must have hit. Well, yeah, the truth must have hit, but you know, it is what it is. Rob Clark says she'll end up like Terry McMillan. Dude's probably gay and looking for citizenship. <laughs> hey, that's a good point. A lot of these men, um, especially a lot, a lot of foreign men, they're doing that. They're putting some good rod on a lot of these women, and not just black women. Because a lot of men from West Africa and Central Africa, they they putting they putting that jungle dick on the white woman from Europe, so that they can get married and get out of their country. You have a lot of fifty and fifty five year old Caucasian women from Europe that are getting married to African men or West Indian men, so that they can leave their country and go live presumably a better life in Europe somewhere. You have a lot of men from South America and. The Caribbean who were putting some dick on these women here in America. A lot of these loser ass women. <laughs> a lot of these these liberal loser ass women from America so that they can get, you know, their citizenship here. If that's their hustle, let it be. Who cares? Who cares? Most marriage is out of convenience. Very, very few people get married for love. Most marriage is out of convenience. So if it's working for them, leave it alone. Illmatic826 said, black women ain't shit. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, brother. The, the black woman is beautiful. She just batshit crazy. That's okay. She just batshit crazy. And, and fight me on that. I don't give a damn if you don't like what I said. Women, period, in this society are batshit crazy. Great Pyrenees said, so many of you emotional and sensitive people are missing the point. You all keep saying that he is slandering and talking all of this shit about black women, when in reality he is speaking facts about it really being the black man's responsibility. Thank you, Great Pyrenees. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. You get it. But you know why a lot of these people, they keep trying to talk about how I'm talking bad about the black woman. You know why that is? There's a couple of reasons for that. There's a few reasons for that. Number one, they don't think like a man. So when you don't think like a man, you're going to react emotionally to everything. Um, a lot of people were raised, especially, especially in so-called black community, our people get raised to value the word of the woman and the evaluations of the woman above the word and the evaluations of the man. Another reason is that our people are programmed to engage in a gender war. And they've been doing it for the last 40 years. Ever since that, um, ever since the, the so-called black feminist movement of the late 70s. All right. So there's, there's quite a few reasons why a lot of people try to make those assertions. I say this all the time. 85% of my videos on this channel, 85% are based in addressing the so-called black man. At the very least, if not more. But I get people who come on here who, um, who want to try to create this dynamic of of uh, you're talking bad about so-called black women. Why is that? Because once again, the so-called black man has become the biggest simp on the planet Earth. A lot of brothers are scared to lead. A lot of brothers are scared to take control over their own life and over their own household. Okay? They're very scared and they try to cover for it by making up these doctrines about how the black woman is God and all this nonsense. Why is that? Because the black man says to himself, if, if it gets to the point where I'm talking all type of shit and I can't back it up, I'm just going to go back and hide behind my mother like I've been doing since I was three years old. That's why. Let's see here. Let me see the two replies to the Great Pyrenees. Al Grave said, well stated. Blue Ram said, feminism and liberalism has blinded black women irreparably. I agree with you. For the most part, it is irreparable. But um, let me also say this. Feminism and liberalism have blinded a good portion of so-called black men as well. Tatiana Wilson said, these chicks are so delusional, trying to escape the loneliness on a desert island, but setting themselves up to carpet munch. Well, that's the next step. The next step is carpet munching for at least for a lot of the younger ones, but hell, maybe even a couple of the older ones. 
Because a lot of these old bras, they become lesbians too. They just seeking out comfort. And all you have to do is look up the stats on lesbianism. Or even just uh, same-sex unions. There's a higher rate of domestic violence and murders, etc. Because you have two people with psychological issues and gender identity disorders in the same household. So of course there's, there's going to be more friction. Let's see. Malik Pearson's laughing. Let me see here. Reginald Person said, you are so right. Some women tried to invite my wife to an all-women's retreat. I was like, hell nah. Then a woman my wife took a class with, who she hadn't talked to in about three years, told my wife about problems she was having in her relationship, and then tried to take my wife to the movies. I was like, hell nah. Hey, brothers. Hey, brothers. <laughs> hey, brothers. Don't I have a series called Watch Your Woman's Friends, man? <laughs> and there's a lot of super liberal women who are like this. And some of you brothers may be quote unquote married to some things of that nature. They'll try to act like they don't know that their colleague is attracted to them, whether it be male or female. Oh, what are you talking about? You're, you're paranoid. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, brothers, follow your... Follow your intuition, man. Follow your first inclination. At the end of the day, if that person is your wife, you have authority over the comings and goings of your wife, whether you understand that or not. What do I mean by that? She owes you an explanation in regards to where she's going and why she's going there. And if, you, if you're if you in a relationship with a woman and y'all are so-called married and she can come and go as she pleases, then you're not really a husband, bro. You're just a roommate providing some dick who she's going to have the ability to take to court whenever she chooses. Okay? You have to understand when, when your woman goes into these workplaces, she's surrounded by people, both male and female, who have all types of demons on them. That's not even talking about the demons that your wife might have. And you're going to have people there trying to see if they can cause some, some type of friction or trauma or entropy into your life through the proxy known as your wife because they know that the woman is the weaker vessel when i say the weaker vessel i'm talking about in their ability to understand when they're being spiritually attacked a lot of times the woman does not know when she's getting spiritually attacked and you do have to preside over a lot of shit in regards to them because once again when you're talking about the super liberal woman they're a hop skip and a jump away from having a quote-unquote lesbian tryst okay I cannot stress this enough. The super liberal woman is very fluid. They believe in gender fluidity, uh, sexual preference fluidity. So stay on point with that. Reginald Pearson, you did a very good job, bro. Tyrone Hinton said, you did right, my brother. Shut that buffoonery down from the giddy up. Absolutely. Women of color healing retreats. Says, this is ignorance, sis. You're bashing your very own community. Oh, this is probably the same woman who initiated this so-called retreat. Tyrone Hinton says, nope. She told the flat out truth. And the truth makes you free. Black Vitriol says, to women of color healing retreat, you need correction. Start taking notes during these videos and maybe Judah can rebuild you. In the meantime... Shut up and mind your place. Well, you know what, brothers? There's no need for all that. At the end of the day, um, and I think that we're going to get to the comment later on on this video. Supposedly, the sister's married. So if she's actually married, her husband needs to speak with her. I'm not even going to say that her husband needs to correct her. That's up to him. Whatever the dynamic of their relationship is, that's their business. I make these videos for, for brothers to just provide my perspective. It's not my place to correct her. That's her man's place. What is my job to do is to provide my perspective in regards to these type of situations. Jive Boy 773 said, what community? I agree. But remember, she's pro-blackity black. So they believe that there's a so-called black community. They believe that. They believe that there's a so-called black community. But you never hear about them saying that they're going to transplant back to the motherland. 
which is where they claim to believe that they're from. So-called woke pro-blackity blacks, wokeity wokes, they claim to believe that, that they're from Africa, but you never hear about them transplanting back over there. Corey Green said black women have an inferiority complex. Well, you know, brother, I think that our people in general have an inferiority complex, not just the so-called black woman. The so-called black man also has an inferiority complex. And oftentimes we don't do a good enough job in making sure that we teach our children to understand why they're supposed to value themselves. So if the so-called black woman has an inferiority complex, a lot of times it's because we didn't do a good enough job picking the woman to have children with. And now a daughter has been created who's going to be raised by a negative woman in a negative environment. Who's not going to be taught to value the masculine principle so there's no proper balance there. Because one of the main roles of the father is to instill in his daughter that she's beautiful and that she's of a high worth, a high value. Because it's very difficult for the woman to do that because, because at the end of the day, the mother can try to glorify herself all she wants as the mother goddess. When the children hit a certain age, when they hit puberty, they're not going to pay attention to the mother too much anymore. They're just not. They don't pay them much attention. I've said this before. This is part of the trickle-down effect of the so-called black man not putting the most high first. The so-called black man doesn't put the most high first, and now the woman doesn't put the man first. Therefore, the child does not put the mother first. That's the trickle-down effect. Let's see some of these replies. Mad Guns Forever said they most certainly do. This is why the weave culture has risen. Monica Buttercups says more black women are going natural, actually. Corey Green says, yeah, but they still don't feel beautiful unless white men say so. This is why black men can't win with black women. Well, you know what, brother? That's, that's an issue that's internal. If you feel like so-called black men can't win with black women... That's a you problem. That's not a them problem. You know why? Because you're not supposed to be trying to win with the black woman. You're supposed to be trying to win with the most high. You're not supposed to be trying to win with the black woman. It's not, it's not your job. It should not be um, at the forefront of your mind to win with the black woman, meaning win her over. It's your job to try to make sure that, that at the forefront of your mind... Is doing right by the most high to the best of your ability and then the woman will look at you with admiration or at least the women that are worth your time will and then then you could try to build with them and of course you still have to scrutinize them as closely as you're scrutinizing yourself once again the women in this society this babylonian society they're on lifetime probation Corey Green said, you feel inferior to white women and there's nothing that black men can do about that. Well, a lot of that's true. The so-called black woman, she, she, um, she admires the so-called white woman, whether they like to admit it or not, they do. And the main reason for that is because the Caucasian is in power. Because the Caucasian is in power, they're jealous of the white woman's position because at least in the mind of, of a certain segment, a certain percentage of, of uh, so-called black women, the white woman is living high off the hog, even though we know a lot of times that's not true. But the main issue is that the so-called black man needs to re-empower himself. Once you re-empower yourself, then you'll give a new image for the so-called black woman to look at. We can't be too concerned about all these issues that the so-called black woman has. We have to be concerned with getting our own shit in order. Nine Mastermind said, <laughs> said, where? Laughing my ass off. Brother, look, at the end of the day, never try to go back and forth with a woman about an assertion that she's making that has no substance to it. Because we both know that Monica Buttercups is not going to provide um, a percentage of so-called black women with who are going natural more than anywhere else. Because I'm sure that they don't even take a poll when it comes to that. So that's just something that she's saying. Just let her go. The Most High Tribal Judah said the bitch is a habitual liar. <laughs> oh, boy. The Healing Mixologist says, hmm, I wonder why. 
in all caps with exclamation points and question marks. Growing up as a young black girl is hard and trying to find where you fit in. On top of that, you are stereotyped and discriminated against. Most black women have to work 10 times as hard as white women to get to the same place. Well, you would expect that in a society that's not really for you. One of the main reasons why you have to work 10 times as hard as white women, at least according to you, I'm not quite sure how true that is because any so-called black man who's worked in corporate America knows, no disrespect, a lot of people are not going to like this, but a lot of so-called black women, they just come to work to cause drama and cause trouble. Run their mouth, trying to see how many dudes in the office they can fuck. Not saying that other races of women don't do that, but a lot of black women, they come to corporate America, that's what they're there for. Talk shit all day, start trouble, try to talk to other black men on the job like, like that's either they their new boyfriend or their ex-boyfriend, um, you know, cause drama and confusion. So that that's one of the, and have a funky ass attitude. Let me not forget that. So that's one of the main reasons why y'all have a hard time in corporate America. Just being real with you. Uh, a lot of y'all get to feeling yourselves in the, in the office space and people get tired of your bullshit. You, know, you can take that or leave it. But once again, just getting back to the point, um, it's always going to be 10 times as hard for you to get to where the white woman's going to get in a corporate structure that's built, you know, for their people. You would think that if a company was, was ran by Asians, that they would give preferential treatment to Asians, so on and so forth. That's what's called self-preservation. Right? So, the real issue is that so-called black people have a hard time working with one another. Why is that? Because we don't have a culture. Where does the culture start? The culture starts with the so-called black man turning his eyes back to the Most High. We turn our eyes back to the Most High, we discipline ourselves, and we learn the difference between a wife and a concubine, and watch a lot of these issues start to go by the wayside. Of course, the pro-blackity blacks are going to say, what are you talking about? What about police brutality? What about, what about harass me? What about this? What a Bro, a lot of the problems that the so-called black man has are based on a lot of bad decisions. Is racism a real thing? Absolutely. All right, but racism, once again, is built off of rulership, is, is built off of self-preservation. So, if you're going to keep getting frustrated at the fact that, the, that whoever the powers that be are not willing to give you the same opportunities that they give their own children, I don't know what to tell you. I would hope that if you were in command, if you were in power, that, that you would look out for your own a little bit more than everybody else because that's what they're going to do. I don't care what so-called race they are. The Mosai tribe of Judah says to the healing mixologist as they receive government assistance. Nice try, kid. Well, you know, brother, I wasn't even going to go there because, I mean, it's a big joke to me. Whenever you hear that strong black woman shit, all they're talking about is how strong the system is behind them. Because let's be for real. The main reason why this why the so-called black woman is so strong is because they have the government behind them. They have the police force behind them. They have the judicial system behind them. It's been behind them for the last 40 years. So this notion that they have to try so much harder than everybody else, I have a hard time believing that. I just do. And every so-called black man has worked in a corporate structure where you've seen so-called black women there who get hired as secretaries, executive assistants, so on and so forth, <laughs> can barely type. But they have a job they have a job doing these things. I mean it is what it is. J.O. says you'd be surprised all races of women have inferiority complexes in different ways, whether it is subtle or obvious. On a grand scale, all men of different races have inferiority complexes. I agree with that. Once again, inferiority complex or inferiority complexes are pervasive. The so-called black man has an inferiority complex as well. So-called black man has an inferiority complex to the black woman. Why do you think a lot of these cats talk about the black woman as God? What is that? That's an inferiority complex. You can't even look at yourself as the image of the Most High. You got to look at the woman. Oh, because because she bring life into the world. She bring life into the world. <laughs> That's your justification because she just dates your seed for nine months? She just dates your seed for nine months and she's bringing life into the world. It's not we brought life into the world, it's she. 
if that's not an inferiority complex, I don't know what is, bro. So the so-called black man also has inferiority complex issues. Big time. But once again, it comes from the fact that many of these homes are not really homes. They don't have a father in the house presiding over the house. A lot of cats will say, well, it's because she won't let me. Or it's because I can't get a job to provide. Well, you know what that means, brother? That means no children until you have those things. It's not that difficult to figure out. Chuck E. Cheese says, Princess Jasmine, are you that swirler on Crystalline Karazian's page? Going natural is pointless, especially if you're not doing it for black men. Most natural women in my area date interracial. That's a fact. That's a fact. But that's once again, that's going into the mother goddess self-worship mentality. Okay. That's going into the mother goddess self-worship mentality. That's why you'll hear so many so-called black women say, when I got dreads or when I went natural, the black man didn't want me. White men wanted me. No, you really went natural because you wanted a white man. And that's okay. Brothers, once again, don't stress that. I see a lot of these brothers, all, all this bed wench stuff. Leave that alone. Leave it alone. Unless the woman's trying to get at you in a nasty way, leave them alone. Because it, <laughs> it ain't worth all that. But like he stated, most natural women in my area, they interracial. I believe it to be closer to how a slave would look for their white daddy. Um, this brother's touching on certain things that are very relevant. Let me say this. A lot is made of this notion that so many black women were raped during slavery. Were there a lot of women who were raped during slavery? Oh, absolutely. But there were more men and little boys that were raped during slavery than women were. As a matter of fact, most of the slave women more often than not, engage in consensual relationships with the so-called white slave master, then, then the stats or the notions or the sentiments give credit for. Because they're trying to pr promote or project the so-called black woman as, as a victim during slavery in regards to her relationships with the Caucasian man. I'll say this, and I'm sure that certain people won't like this, but even today, in modern corporate America, which to a degree has a similar um, paradigm to the, the plantations of the 1800s. Oftentimes you'll see that the more attractive black women, they get more favors from the Caucasian directors and corporate managers, so on and so forth. And of course, those favors are often in exchange for sexual favors. It was the same way back during slavery. So this notion that every black woman was getting raped and all this stuff, stop. Were there women getting raped? Absolutely. But there were also a lot of consensual relationships. Harrison Booth said, Chuck E. Cheese's Caribbean, I agree. They subconsciously want to please white men's slave fetish. Going natural is not about self-love for them. It's possible. It's possible. Oh, Elmatic 826 is saying the same thing. Black women only go natural to attract white men. Black women hate themselves. <laughs> and they are only good for sex no matter what race of man they fucked. <laughs> Brother, I can't agree with that. I don't agree with that. All right? You're going a little too far now. You're going a little too far. <laughs> there are some very good so-called black women out there. The thing is that, once again... Brothers have to use greater scrutiny and discernment in who they decide to get with. Right? Brothers have to use greater discernment in who they decide to get with. If you go into relationships with an emotional mentality, basically you have the mind of a woman. So there's going to be no option but for your relationship to end in, in an unsatisfactory way or dissatisfactory way. Pardon me. It's always going to end that way because you have not established the rules of engagement in the relationship. The woman needs to be led. And if she's not going to go according to what you want, then she has to go. It's very simple. And I've said this in the past. A lot of guys who talk to that degree in regards to the woman, I'm not saying this brother right here, but a lot of guys uh, who, who speak that way, it's because they know that 
that they were in a relationship and they did not do what they were supposed to do for themselves. And because of that, they're upset with themselves and they take it out on the woman. And you can't do that because a lot of you guys have higher expectations for the woman than she has for herself. Okay? People get mad when I say this. I don't give a shit. The woman, for the most part, is a child with titties. Okay? That's what, that's what they are. They're children with titties. But you know what the problem is? A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys out there, not all of you, a lot of you brothers are brilliant and intelligent and astute. But a lot of you guys are nothing but little boys with mustaches, man. Because you still got your head up your mother's ass. And once you get your head out your mother's ass and start, you know, understanding things on a high level, you'll find that you have far fewer problems. Karis87 says, so they're worshipping Garvey and Malcolm X, eating vegan, doing yoga, praying to Buddha, have no black men there, or have no black men here. They want acceptance from white people and left America because white people don't accept them. Do I have that right? <laughs> this video is revealing of depravity spiritually. This is worse than insanity. Really sad, great video. Well, brother, thank you. But I'll say this. The confusion of the woman is a reflection of the confusion of the man. The man has to lead the woman. Once again, we haven't gotten to the comment yet, but I believe that there's a brother on this on this comment section who states that this lady right here is married. And if she is indeed married, that most likely means that she's the only one on camera because he does not appear on camera. So if the facts or if the allegation that she's married is true to me it obviously means that her man is a simp because he does not appear to represent their their organization which supposedly is meant to allow black women to come to another location and decompress quote unquote he's supposed to be the head he's supposed to be the one speaking on camera but it's all her so most likely he's a wokeity woke pro black dude who believes that the black woman is god Chris Penn said, going home to their black men, fiancés, and husbands should be their retreat. This is a joke. Absolutely agree, Chris Penn. That's why I made the video. I absolutely agree. That's the main reason why I made this video. Uh, you brothers have to understand that you're supposed to be your wife's retreat. You're supposed to be where she goes for vacation. When she travels, you travel. They've created this paradigm where the the woman is supposed to be able to travel by herself even though she has a man and a husband and all this other nonsense what level of elucidation are these females on this retreat supposed to be receiving exactly if you go somewhere for a retreat or enlightenment real enlightenment you should only have to go there once if you have to go there repeatedly that means that you're not receiving enlightenment you're receiving a fix you're getting a drug fix. You're not getting enlightenment. Because if you're truly being enlightened, you should not have to ever go back. Reginald Person said they are pro-black and anti-black male. Well, the other comments are which please confirm that. So that is correct, Reginald Person. Let me see here. Some dude named Big Dick Click <laughs> said, why are the pro-black ones anti-black male? Well, brother, the answer to that is simple. The reason why these so-called pro-black black women are anti-black male is because they're only trying to use, quote-unquote, blackness to get attention. They're really feminists who are looking for you to worship them as the black mother goddess. And this is one of the points that I touch on incessantly on this channel. The super liberal black woman wants to be her own demographic. She does not want to be at the side of the black man or understand her role. But a lot of that's not her fault. It's one of the main reasons why the super liberal black woman has risen, or at least risen in her mind, really why she's been given so much attention, is because the so-called black man has not taken his role seriously as a leader in the household. What do I mean by that? It doesn't mean that you just knock up a hole and try to do your best it means that we have to make better decisions in who we choose to inseminate and before all that we have to do our due diligence to empower ourselves with real knowledge 
wisdom and understanding, real knowledge, wisdom and understanding. Not a lot of this silly bullshit. Like a lot of these black Luciferians that come on my channel talking about there's no God, there's no this. I, look, I, I tell a lot of these pro-blacks all this. Look, I ask this question to a lot of these wokeity woke pro-blacks that come on my channel all the time with their nihilistic, atheistic babble about how there's no God and this and that. I ask them to please name me one culture anywhere around the world that is of color, aboriginal or what have you, indigenous. Please name me one culture where they have no spiritual aspect, where they don't have some type of deity of some kind that they worship and believe in and adhere to. Just name me one. And they can never name one. You know why? Because the so-called black atheist is a dead man walking. That's all they are. They're dead men walking. And a lot of a lot of them cast it on my channel who happen to be who happen to be black atheist or who uh who think that they're enlightened in some way, they'll probably be upset by that. Oh well. Ask a so-called black atheist, really a black Lucifer and a, a black narcissist or self-worshipper who tries to uh put forth that that ideology or that sentiment about how religion was spread by the white man and all this. I asked them. Name me one aboriginal culture on the earth that has no spiritual aspect. And they can't name one. And that's why these black atheists, they have no plan. They have no nothing. All they have is jargon. Okay? They're empty vessels. And like they say, empty wagons make the most noise. Let's see here. Reginald Person said, I don't know why, but I have noticed that they support black women, hate white people, and black men. Because, brothers... The so-called super liberal black woman believes that she is her own demographic. I've told you brothers before. The so-called super liberal black woman does not really consider herself even amongst so-called black people. She believes that she's a goddess. She believes that she has her own demographic. Okay. And the only time that you'll see them with a so-called black man is one of these wokeity woke dudes. Who worships the mother goddess. That's it. Sash C says. How do you know who they hate? Black women only have each other at the end.